So today I am going to be taking a little look at a G7th capo that's been sent to me today. Um, I'm going to compare it to a couple of other capos here that I've got for you and basically say why you should get a capo in your kind of arsenal of uh, guitar accessories. You know, you don't need too many different accessories but the capo I think is an essential. So let's have a little look. So first of all let's get this open. A little look what's in here. Okay, so we've got a G7 Capo Company Performance 2 Capo. Uh, this is for steel string guitars and it's in satin black. Get this open. Straight forward. Okay, so here is the Capo. G7 obviously as as companies go with capos they're more at the kind of high end when I first got capos I was buying uh, simple ones like this just off Amazon um, for like you know five quid eight dollars or something like that um, the only the main difference between these two capos is about the resistance so these are clamp on capos fundamentally all you do is squeeze here and just pop on the strings like so. There's no way you can adjust the tension that is put on the strings. So what you often see, so that's one, probably the same brand, but this one that I got completely, uh, sometimes it completely squashes the strings too hard and makes the guitar quite out of tune. So before we look into actually using this new one, the G7th Capo, um, maybe you're thinking why do I even need a capo so if you follow my channel you'll see probably like 80 to 90 percent of the songs I actually teach here I use a capo and fundamentally all it does is means that you can focus a lot more on just playing a handful of chords really well rather than trying to learn loads of different shapes like this and like this and Instead of doing that, you might just play a couple of shapes, simple shapes that you can learn with me, and then if the song is in a different key, so it's higher than here, you just shift it up and pop a capo on there, or there, or there, etc., all the way up. Um, some guitarists feel this a little bit of a kind of cheating, um, and they want to, they you know, they think you should definitely learn all of these big shapes. From my experience, so many people, I teach guitar one to one, and so many people actually um, quit guitar because they get overwhelmed by how much there is to learn. Um, there's kind of an infinite amount of chords you could learn with all the variations and different ways to play them. I think the best place to start if you just want to get having fun is to use the capo method and simply understand how to put the capo on and shift it up and play songs like that. So as you'll see, if you look through some of my videos, you'll notice um, the capo could be here, 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 even way up here. Um, the whole idea of that is you just get having fun much quicker. And then if you grow out of that method, then you can start to learn the bigger shapes. But for most people, particularly singer songwriters, when they're focusing on um, playing the chords really nicely and singing and put the emphasis on singing, they will, they will use capos quite a lot. So let's have a little look at this. So this capo here, G7th capo, let's just get it on the strings. Okay, so you just fit it on top like that, and then just press down to get the right tension that you want. Okay. Pretty, it's pretty simple. It's different to this one because this is literally you squeeze it, put it on, let go, and it's a certain amount of tension. This one you're actually controlling the tension by pressing down here. Um, as I say, so it is a more expensive quality capo, but by the looks of it, I like that. I like that I can kind of adjust the tension because depending on what guitar you've got, sometimes you do you will get the pinch of a really strong capo, more like this one, that actually kind of really pushes the strings too hard and it, you get a very 
out of tune sound that you can't do a great deal about without really fiddling and placing it at different areas along the fret. So that's the first thing. And then to release it, simply get this bit here and we just push and it comes off. So you might be thinking as well, how 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 do we know where to put a capo? And that's a big thing I'm going to be covering in my lessons. So if you if you want to learn a bunch of songs and basically get the whole concept of why should the capo go here or here or here, at first don't worry so much about why, but focus on just getting to get the songs under your belt and learning which chords go together. With all that being said, this has been the G7th Capo. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers. Before I go, if you found this useful or if you're interested in learning lots of songs please do subscribe and check out the uh, the link below where you can actually learn a bunch of songs you know you'll be able to play thousands of songs if you learn the following shapes so all you need to do is go down to the website yourguitartutor.co.uk when you when you get there pop your name and email address in and you can get your free ebook learn how to play easy guitar songs That'll teach you basically eight different shapes that you need to that you need to get under your belt. And when you've got those, you can watch all the videos. We'll be shifting the capo along and having fun very quickly. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.